Hey guys, I am so excited to be going on our fall camping retreat with you very soon. And as we prepare to go, I am making some videos so that those of you who have none or a little less experience when it comes to camping and feel a little more prepared so that when we go, we can all have the best time possible. So in this video, I'm talking to you guys about sleeping bags and just sleeping equipment in general. Because here's the thing, we want a good night's sleep and we're gonna be sleeping twice on this trip. So if you guys don't get good night's sleep, then it's just gonna throw off the rest of the trip and we don't wanna do that. So here's the thing you need to know first, when it comes to sleeping bags, I am recommending that you bring a sleeping bag that is at least 50 degree rated. And you might be sitting there being like, okay, what does that mean? Let me explain. I have a sleeping bag right here. It's one of my just kind of backup bags I keep. And it will say, if you read it really close, it says 20 degree rated. But what you need to see even more is it's 20 degree women. Now, sleeping bags are one of those weird things that they rate it differently for men and women because typically women tend to run colder when they sleep and men tend to run a little warmer. Now, when this says 20 degree Fahrenheit women's rated, what it means is that as a woman, if I sleep in this bag at night in a tent and I have it zipped up and I'm just wearing like normal pajamas, it can be 20 degrees in theory outside and I will still feel comfortable. That's right, this is a very intense bag. It's a lot more than what we're gonna need on this retreat. But if it was 20 degree men's rated, it's a little different because for men's rating, I don't know why they do this, but it's more of the like survival temperature. So if it was 20 degree men's bag, it's more of like if it's 20 degrees outside, you're not gonna get hypothermia, but you're probably not gonna be super comfortable, okay? So I recommend a 50 degree rating for a woman's bag and probably more of like a 40 degree rating for a men's bag because we're expecting temperatures in the low 50s while we sleep at night and while you will be in a tent with other people and that's gonna help it, a 50 degree, 50 degree rated women's bag or 40 degree rated men's bag is going to be your best chance to just be comfortable temperature wise while you sleep. Now. There's many different things when it comes to sleeping bags. I'll just be honest, a lot of them for this trip in particular aren't going to matter. Uh, this bag is like a mummy style. There's bags that are um, kind of tapered at the feet, but then they just kind of come to like a flat end at the top without a hood. And then there's bags that are just basically a big rectangle. It really is a personal preference thing. As long as it is rated to keep you warm on the nights that we are going to be camping, the shape doesn't matter for this trip, okay? Um, if you're claustrophobic, maybe avoid a mummy bag. But yeah, uh, most of you probably have one of these at home or you have a friend or a relative that can let you borrow one. If not, you can get a sleeping bag of this rating for not too much money at like Walmart or Target. Um, so it shouldn't be a huge expense and it's going to be very important that you use a sleeping bag rather than just a blanket. All right, so next we're talking about what goes between you and the ground because the thing with tent camping is you are essentially sleeping on the ground. Um, if you're sleeping in a sleeping bag in a tent and that's all you have, you literally have the ground, a very thin layer of uh, like fiber cloth that keeps like you from actually touching the ground and the dirt and the rocks and the bugs and all that, which is the bottom of your tent. And then you have a very thin layer of sleeping bag and it's not that much. So what we do is we put either like a sleeping pad or a cot or sometimes even an air mattress between us and the ground. And there's a couple different reasons for this. The first reason is just comfort. Um, if you've ever tried to sleep on the ground, it's not that comfortable. And putting just a little bit of extra padding between you and the ground will actually make a huge difference. I've used even just a yoga mat before and it has sincerely, like made my sleep experience in a tent better. So if you don't have a lot of these other campy things, but you have a yoga mat, a yoga mat will work just fine. You don't need to go buy a fancy sleeping pad for this. Now, if you are someone whose family has more camping things in their arsenal, a self-inflating sleeping pad is my number one recommendation. Um, if you happen to have one of those or just a foam sleeping mat, 
that's meant for camping, those are great because they have a good balance um, in comfort and cushion, but also transportable. Transportability? Transportability. Uh, the second purpose of something to put between the sleeping bag and the bottom of the tent is for insulation. Um, these things will help keep you a little warmer, the exception being a cot. A cot doesn't really help keep you warm, but it does keep you comfortable. So if you have a cot, a cot is great, um, or if you're going to go for an air mattress, an air mattress is what I least recommend for this trip, just because of how much space it can take up in your tent. But if you do opt for an air mattress, it needs to be a twin size. You cannot get any bigger for this trip, okay? I won't allow it. But a twin size air mattress, I need to make sure you have a pump that does not need an electrical outlet, all right? This is a electricity free camping experience. So if you have um, a pump that's motorized with a battery, that's great. Um, I have an air mattress that has this little bag and you like catch the wind and then you roll it and it inflates it. Uh, but yeah, so again, there's simple, inexpensive options to keep between you and the ground. You don't 100% need it, but I think after night one, you're going to say, I 100% need it. So a yoga mat, a sleeping pad, uh, a cot, or if you must, a twin air mattress. And if you have one of those things and you have a sleeping bag that has the proper rating, you're going to be good to go. The only thing you might not else need is a pillow. I recommend keep it simple, keep it small. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but you're going to be pretty comfortable when sleeping on this trip. It's going to be awesome. For some of you, it's going to be new, but just lean into it because camping is so much fun. The experience of sleeping in a tent, in a sleeping bag, under the stars, out in the wilderness is just incredible. It's going to be awesome. So get your stuff, stay upbeat, reach out to me if you have any questions, and we're going to have an awesome time. I'll see you guys in the next video.